good morning sadly today is our last day here in israel however our flight is not until 1 a.m so we have the entire day here we are about to get picked up and we're going to bethlehem today and maybe something else i can't quite remember but let's go make the most of our last day here come to our first stop of the day. This is a stop that has been suggested by our guide and we're at Herodium Park, which is another one of Herod's palaces. He had many palaces all over and this one apparently was built so that he could look out on his palace in Jerusalem. Uh, this one is a smaller scale than the one that we were at yesterday, but I think it is uh, pretty well preserved. So we might be able to see some of the original beautiful artwork and things like that. of Herod is actually very interesting. It's the only one that he put his own name on and he also wanted to turn it into his mausoleum. His tomb is here and this is where he was buried. And in the theater where we just were, Herod had that built and beautifully decorated and then a few years later when he was about to die, he ordered the people who built it for him to fill it in and that is why they believe it is so well preserved because they filled it in with dirt to make room for his tomb and it helped protect all of the nice fresco and paintings from elements over the years. This palace is also extremely interesting because the because the mountain that it sits on was actually only half the size that it is today and Herod actually had it built up so that his palace could be higher and to also help fortify and protect it. The palace is built into a lot of the artificial part of the mountain that they used wood to build on top of with dirt, which is pretty cool. So we've made it here to the town of city of Bethlehem, the birthplace of Jesus.
room where apparently Jesus was born. Just behind me here, I believe it's the manger. Bethlehem is in Area A of the West Bank and is therefore under the control of the Palestinian Authority. As a result of an uprising in 2000, known as the Second Intifada that spanned a few years, in which there were a wave of suicide bombings carried out in Israel by the Palestinians, the Israelis built the West Bank security barrier. Most of the barrier is actually a high-tech fence, however, here in Bethlehem, it is a concrete wall separating Israel from the West Bank. The wall has become a place for graffiti that often expresses the Palestinian frustrations towards the barrier and the desire to be a free state. No matter what side of the conflict you stand, the wall here in Bethlehem is a sad reminder of the conflict and division between two groups of people that can't seem to find peace. Alright, so we just concluded our last day here in Israel. It's so sad. We are leaving. Uh, we just got back to the hotel room to pack up and then we're gonna get picked up to be taken to the airport. So I'm actually really sad to be leaving. I wish that there was just more time and just that we could just get into more things. But unfortunately, because of COVID, we kind of lost a lot of time, but we still were able to salvage what we could, which was really, really awesome that we still got to see the majority of what we planned to see and also so many great things that we never planned to see because of the recommendation of our guide. So it was a really, really great trip. Hopefully we come back soon and can finish the trip the way that we wanted to do it. But right now I have to get ready for the airport. So let's finish packing up and uh, we'll head on to the airport. Just odd trips to the airport experiences. First of all, we're at the hotel, we're waiting for our pickup, and this guy comes up and says, Justin? <laughs> and Jason's like, uh, Jason? And he's like, yeah, sure. And then Jason's like, uh, okay, how do we know if you're the one who's supposed to pick us up? What's your name? And then he told us his name. And then Jason looked at the paper of the person who's supposed to pick me up and said, no, that we're here for someone else. For duty. Like, for duty. And then he's like, duty's in Rome. And we were like, uh, okay. And we were like, okay, do you have a last name? He's like, no, just the first name. And he's like, and then Jason was like, where are you supposed to be taking them? And to the airport. So then we got in the car and hoped for the best. No, and then he was like, if you don't want to take my, you know, my ride, you can get stay a cab. <laughs> it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, so then we got into the car and then he looked up something and it was like Rosen, so then we felt a little better. Yeah. yeah. But then we also paid for a VIP service apparently here at the airport. I did not know that was a thing, but uh, you go through a special check-in desk and then someone literally takes your, your passports, walks you all the way through the airport until security and then hands you off at security. But worked. It's easier. Yeah, we skipped this we skipped the line at security, we got to go right in, we skipped the line checking in, so yeah, it was quite the experience. We were not asked as many intense questions this time when we were checking in. Just uh just regular questions like who packed your bag and stuff like that, not like how many brothers and sisters do you have? <laughs> Hello. Exactly the same as it was when we got down here. 
we got another amenities kit with pretty much basically exactly the same as we got in the first place and everything about the seat is exactly the same so I'm not gonna bother giving you any seat tour this time but um, yeah we'll show you what's for dinner and then hopefully I'll be able to get to some sleep So we just landed here in Toronto. I actually got to sleep on the flight, so I think I got a full night's sleep, so I feel very well rested, which is good, but also bad, because I woke up around 4 a.m. feeling very rested. However, we have a wedding to go to tonight, and we usually been going to bed around probably like 5 p.m. Toronto time in Israel, so. We're gonna go home and try to take a nap so that we can get our bodies back on regular time. Yeah. 